Hi, my name is Scarpy Hensum. I am the Chief Technology Officer here at SoFi Stadium in Hollywood Park. I'm responsible for all technology across the stadium and the site. So we're in Inglewood, California, which is very central to the LA area. SoFi Stadium in Hollywood Park is a 300 acre development for sports and entertainment. It really started off with the vision of the Los Angeles Rams owner, Stan Kroenke. He wanted to build a stadium that was truly differentiated, truly was representative of LA and something that uh, the city could be really proud of. It starts here inside of SoFi Stadium, which is the absolute state of the art, 70,000 seat plus stadium, but also expands to our 300 acre campus where we will uh, develop residential and retail and office buildings. My name is Chan Wan Chan. I'm the Vice President of Engineering, Parking and Transportation, as well as overseeing our sustainability program here at SoFi Stadium. I think we'll be unique in the sporting landscape of America because of our infrastructure, the size and scale of the project itself, but as well as being the first uh, building that I'm aware of to utilize a digital twin software technology. I think that Technology in the stadium is complex. There's a lot of different types of systems that are included in the stadium's 3 million square feet. All those systems together create a very complex infrastructure that has never been brought together within one stadium footprint. The first thing that we pay attention to is our infrastructure. We have a very, what I would call a diverse uh, site, meaning that it has to host not just NFL football games, but all sorts of events, whether that's concerts, opening ceremonies for the Olympics, to be able to accommodate those different types of events. We've thought very thoroughly about our infrastructure, our networking, how we connect the 300 acres together with the stadium so that we can put on this sort of seamless experience for our guests and for our, our productions and our teams and our events that come in. The thing to notice is the enormous video board that hangs over the field. It is the largest uh, video board ever designed and installed for sports. 80 million pixels of LED in our bowl. We pair that also up with uh, uh, what I would call a differentiated sound system. Because of the design of our video board, we're able to place the speakers centrally. And so we think the combination of what we can do in media, what we can do in audio, is gonna be incredible uh, come game day. Some of the challenges of managing the project of this size is really the scale of it all. If you look at an arena where maybe the size of four arenas trying to manage the three million square feet, and then finding the right mix of staff, can one coordinate the software, the data, as well as the physical plant and the physical aspect and size of the building. We have a building that is 3.1 million square feet we have a site that's 300 acres. And so every aspect of managing that operation security, understanding the complex environment. So it's a large place. It's a very complex uh, building from a systems perspective. We had uh, learned as we were in construction about the potential of digital twins and certainly coming from a technology environment where what I would call single sources of truth are really important, sort of managing all of your data in a single place. We felt that a digital twin was a, a technology that we should look really, really carefully at. We needed a tool to help bring all that data together for us, uh, try to coordinate everything into one kind of data platform where we could find a single source of truth for our data, our asset management, and try to kind of catalog, you know, everything that goes into this building. Being an early adopter of this technology, uh, being the first to market in regards to having a digital twin for the building, I think it puts us ahead of the curve in regards to what people will be doing into the future and what solutions people are trying to find. Some of the benefits of having a digital twin, this is something that elevates our ability to manage 
uh, and operate this complex building. So that's everything really from, you know, people that are trying to uh, book events, right? Or our operations team that's trying to set up for events or our facilities team that's in charge of maintaining the building, right? We can do anything as simple as simply jump into a three-dimensional model and take a measurement of a space, right? Which allows us to sort of quickly respond to a request or a, or a question about what's possible in a particular space. And these are really tool sets that sort of serve our, our enterprise really from what I would call frontline front workers to the very complex engineering tasks that we have. I think the biggest benefit for me is to be able to go to one software platform and have a uh, understanding of the stadium um, immediately in front of me. It provides a shortcut to some of the questions that uh, come up most often. Things like how tall is the ceiling height in this space? What is the square footage? A lot of times when you're looking for that information, someone has to take uh, all the architectural drawings and then develop a shortcut in regards to, you know, this is the square footage of this room. But the twin brings all of that piece of information into one location so you can kind of see it in one place versus looking at different catalogs of, of information. You know, we chose Willow for a number of reasons, but for me, it really goes back to those early, early days when I was engaging with Josh and Josh flew out here to talk to us about Willow, the product and the company and introduce us to their people. And really for us, it was also introducing us to the concept of Digital Twin, right? This was new technology. So incredibly important for us to have a partner like Willow that took its time with us, helped educate us, and really helped customize a solution for the things that were important to us. I love all of the aspects of how they are thinking about developing services on top of the twin, the idea of, of offering services in um, an app store-like model. These were all things as we looked at them closely were really important to us. And when they came into uh, the project, we were already uh, three years into construction. And so the amount of collateral that had been generated and then their ability to really sort of absorb all of that and start modeling that out was incredibly important. And I think that's something that's worth mentioning about Willow, right? It's not just what you see on the screen, but it's the, the services behind it, it's the people behind it. I think we're finding out that it's adaptable and Willow is willing to take that journey with us to find better use cases outside of the traditional uh, mechanical, electrical, engineering kind of use case, security, getting into programming, getting into event operations, uh, everyday use for guest service. I think Willow sees it as a platform that can grow into other spaces versus just the traditional kind of twin of a physical space. I think the digital twin technology is really going to accelerate how we think about uh, building operations. The thing that I am the most excited for is as we sort of connect all of the equipment and the devices in the building into the twin, we will start getting real-time information off of that equipment. We will be able to overlay that uh, with other data sets. So our digital twin allows us to be a little bit more open with that data without compromising our security in any way. I think in five years, more people will start to use this technology, especially arenas and venues will look at this technology, whether they're an old building or a new building, to try to find a solution that would better help the staff and better help you know, more use case scenarios amongst even, you know, the marketing, sales. The more people use it, the more advanced the technology will become and the better the, the software overall will become for everyone. This is a stadium that is designed and built for the future. Every aspect of the design as well as the technology has gone into it thinking about what is the state of the art? How can technology elevate 
the guest experience? How can technology help us you know, run the building more efficiently? How can it help us operate uh, everything that we have inside? So it's truly a 21st century project and really the first of its kind to feature the technologies that we've put in here. We're gonna look back and think in amazement to the days where we didn't have a tool like this. Knowing how incredibly complex these modern buildings are, it's really starting to, to strain sort of the traditional methods that we have used to manage and maintain and, and, and operate these buildings. And so tools like Digital Twins, I think will become a necessity for stadiums, for venues, for other sort of complex public assembly venues. I think it'll be absolutely critical.